Singing Barbershop can open so many doors to endless personal and musical possibilities. Dream big. There's a huge misconception by choir teachers and vocal teachers that barbershop is bad or somehow uh, injurious to the voice. It, it's, it isn't. We, have, we use good vocal technique. Um, the students learn how to sing independently. They're singing in four-part a cappella harmony from the beginning of this. There's no piano. We don't learn our parts by piano very often. Uh, we, we use solfege a lot while we're learning. They learn how they learn their parts very quickly they're independent they sing in tune they sing with beautifully matched vowels and they learn the difference between we'll talk about choral vowels and we'll talk about barbershop vowels and we'll talk about mixing the two of them together i have taken these two circles the choral circle and the barbershop circle which were completely separated before and they now have really intersected quite a lot Choir directors, there are many benefits of singing barbershop and the impact that doing so has on a traditional choral program. These include better understanding of vocal production, intonation, oral skills, vowel matching, dynamic flexibility, singing and performing with others, confidence, independence while being part of an ensemble, and the camaraderie that's fostered and performance opportunities within one's community and even farther reaching such as the state, region, nationally and internationally. Barbershop ballads are often performed with great rubato. As a conductor, the use of rubato has informed my choices in other genres and has allowed me to develop even greater imagination when I approach scores. I would strongly suggest adding the programming of barbershop music to your curriculum and programming, or perhaps you can start an ensemble to perform the style exclusively. Either way, I offer my highest possible endorsement. I learned to sing the barbershop style about 25 years ago after I had graduated from college and I was a beginning high school choir teacher. I learned to sing and listen more carefully to precise intonation and chord function. And I think I learned how to be a much more expressive and artistic performer as well. This in turn made me a better teacher and a conductor because I could teach my students the same skills I learned through my close harmony experiences. As a college professor, I still use barbershop as a teaching tool, but also as a recruiting tool as well. The men in my men's chorus sing all styles, both accompanied and unaccompanied from different time periods but I always make sure they have at least one close harmony piece every semester that they can perform. They love the sound of close harmony and they really love to sing tags together too. And other guys who see them in concerts looking cool and having fun on this music often join the group the following semester. You don't need to worry if you don't know the barbershop style already because there are so many resources available locally and online to help you use this music with your students. Just go to the Sweet Adelines International website or the Barbershop Harmony Society website and you can find lots of free and very interesting materials that, that can help you learn the style. I train my student teachers at Cal State Fullerton how to teach tags to their students when they're student teaching using chromatic solfege and Kodai hand signs. And they have absolutely no trouble attracting and retaining male singers to their choir programs when they become credentialed teachers out in the real world. I simply can't say enough about how my experiences with close harmony and acapella and barbershop music have been beneficial to my training and success as a choral music educator. I highly recommend that you also look into it and maybe use it as part of your teaching. This quote from renowned choral clinician, Dr. Lynn Gackle. Experiences with barbershop have some wonderful benefits for students from building fabulous oral skills, great intonation, a sense of true harmonic structure, to outstanding poise and expressive engaged faces. My daughter had outstanding community choir and school choral experiences, in addition to barbershop and Sweet Adeline opportunities. 
These musical experiences help to deepen her love of choral music and strengthen her overall musicianship. I have been using barbershop harmony in my choral program a lot in the last four years, and I have seen immediate growth in A, tuning, intonation throughout my entire program has been excellent. Um, the way that my women, and particularly altos, now sing with uh, a little bit more moxie, a little bit more resonance, um, resonance matching, um, intonation in a sense of um, tuning fifths, tuning thirds, all of that is permeating my program because of Barbershop Harmony. Highly recommend it for both boys and for girls. I've used Barbershop music in my choral program for many years and there are a lot of benefits that I can think of such as um, the students being more demanding of themselves to be accurate in their harmonies. The harmonies they do in barbershop are more intricate than a lot of the choral music we do, especially for baritone and tenor parts. And so that carries over into our choral music that the students are more demanding of each other that they be accurate on their harmony parts. Um, it also increases their independence, which I think is one of the biggest things. They seek out their own music and their own listening samples in barbershop and they, and they start to uh, access things that I have no idea about and they, and they start to teach each other, which is wonderful. And then that independence carries over also into our choral music. Not only are they independent enough to sing their own parts, but sometimes after class I hear them standing around and not just singing tags, but you know, singing Handel or singing um, Rudder or, or some other choral piece that we're doing there. They're actually trying to quartet that music as well. So to a music teacher working after school, sitting in the office, that is truly a delight to hear them being more independent and singing their choral music on their own. Uh, but overall, it's been a great addition in many ways to my program and my students just love it. I asked some of those students who of their own have, have kept a quartet together for a couple of years and um, they're going to make a few comments about things that they've observed uh, in their own musicianship. So here they are. This is Singing Double. Thank you, ladies. So what do you feel like? I know you guys all sang choral music in middle school and then you came to high school mm -hmm. also singing choral music. But what kind of things do you think that your barbershop experiences have made you a, a better musician with your other kinds of music? Well, for me personally, being in barbershop, it's really helped me um, develop my musician skills, like reading music and learning theory. how to keep my own part. Theory, yeah. <laughs> and learning how to be less dependent on others when I'm singing, like, outside of a choral setting. You get more individual as a singer. You really develop your own sense of tone and style. Um, for me, being a lead in a quartet has helped me a lot with my confidence. Like with myself and chorally and with my singing and stuff and it's allowed me to really blossom in my, in my singing. I want to be a leader in the soprano section and now with like things like sight reading, like um, barbershop is a lot more like individual than choral stuff obviously so when you're in barbershop nobody's there to like hold your hand nobody's there to like, hold your part for you it's just yourself so when you're the harmonies sight... are more complex too yeah, yeah yeah so like with things like sight reading and just musicianship in general you want to mm -hmm. rely on yourself more than just other things the family unit that you create everywhere you go the energy that's on stage, the chords are so amazing. So it's just like all around a great environment to be singing in with amazing people. So I never want to stop. <laughs> Because, because I'm a senior and there's like a lot of changes that are going to be happening, I am moving out, I am going to college, which is very, very stressful, it's really nice to have something that's constant, something that's always going to be there that you can always go to when you're stressed out, when you're just going crazy. It's really nice to have that after high school. But then barbershop's always there. You see, like they were saying like yesterday in like the show, they are saying like 70s, 80s, and hopefully 90-year-olds. like. It's something that I can be doing for like my entire life until hopefully 90s and that's just like so um, reassuring because it's just always a home that I can go back to no matter where I've moved, no matter like 
like you can always come home to your barbershop family and that's something that I like always want to do always want to keep in my life now something that's wonderful about being a part of this singing community is the light that it brings to your everyday lives many people seek comfort and an outlet through sound and despite life's trials there's so much solace in this music and being able to share this love with all of you here tonight and it's just joyous how timeless this art is the thing i love about it is that the students don't have to have the newest and hippest songs to sing to be drawn to it i can remember many times like the first day or two with the treble makers the girls barbershop chorus at school that will teach a tag at the beginning just the ending of a song four-part acapella and i can see their eyes light up and sparkle that they're standing in the middle of all that harmony and they'll hear chords ringing and i think they're forever changed right about that moment they find that they love that so much with the beat 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 of a heartbeat and the bang 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 my brain got a girl that's driving me crazy and i think i'm gonna go insane I love their ability to communicate, and I really do attribute that to their singing barbershop, uh, very much so with, with the men. It's sometimes kind of hard to get guys to cut loose and be emotional and, and get into things, but they can, they can get kind of crazy with a, a barbershop song, and they go, oh yeah, okay, so that's what it feels like. And then when they go to sing it, TTBB, big song about sailors and stuff, they, they, know, they know how to get into it, and they'll, they'll risk it, and they'll be vulnerable. To, to the to whatever the message is. And I think I'm gonna go and say hey, it's a blue eyes and all the girly charm. And now tonight's the night. Yeah, she's in my arms. Yes, in my arms. I don't want people who don't know anything about barbershop just go, yeah, yeah, well that's not for me. You could it's so as easy as teaching us a, a short ending to a song, which we call a tag, and there are lots of resources. And you can play with the tuning and with the timing. I learned how to be a much better conductor as a choral director, even as a band director, because I learned how to conduct rubato ballads in the barbershop style. My choral program is much better because my students also sing barbershop. The dream.